today we're going to go over how to make French link binding. Um, French link binding comes from the sewing style on the side. I like this type of book. It's really good for sketchbooks and uh, bullet journals because it lays flat, kind of like that. Um, but it's also a little bit loose, so it's not as tight whenever you hold it. Another cool thing about it is uh, you can do it with just cardstock for the covers instead of like a hard bound board. I personally like to combine both of them together and have the cardstock as well as the board so that way I don't have to sew it. You'll see, it doesn't really, you'll see. Uh, but I use fabric covered boards that I covered how to make in my last video about doing fabric covers. Um, basically just turning fabric into paper. It's really neat whenever you use like fake fur and stuff. But what you're gonna need, a couple sheets of cardstock. Those are gonna be really important because they work as our kind of uh, faux cover. Go ahead and take those and just fold them straight down in half. I use my fingernail to kind of just crease it down there. I'll say if you just painted your nails or something, it will transfer. So you can use like a spoon, anything, scissors uh, to make the crease happen. It doesn't have to be burning the back of your finger. I don't even know why I show that. There's so many better ways of doing that. It doesn't matter. So for paper on the inside, I'm going to do six sets of five sheets of paper. Um, so there's five sheets right there and that's one set that's called a signature. What we're going to do is we're going to fold those in half and um, make those the inside of our book. Remember six, five, very easy to remember. So take the first signature and, um, oh shoot, make sure you save one sheet of paper. Oof, almost forgot about that. That would have been terrible. Go ahead and take one sheet, put it to the side. You're going to need that for making a jig later. So take a whole signature of paper and there's better ways of folding this, like more accurate ways where you deal with the bias. I don't really just fold it in half and crease it with your finger. It'll be fine. If you're really passionate about bookbinding, you can deal with the bias of the paper and folding one sheet at a time. I, nobody has time for that. Go ahead and crease all of them down. You should have six sets of five. We want to do a lot of signatures with this so that way we have, we can really show off the French link binding. Go ahead and uh, put your cardstock covers on there and give it a little crease, give it a little smash. Uh, take some time to drink some soda. And with that one sheet reserved, uh, go ahead and fold it in half. What we're going to be doing is we're gonna be making a jig. So take a ruler, I have a see-through ruler because I'm fancy, but any ruler will work. And we're just gonna be measuring one inch increments down the middle, okay? So got your paper folded, that helps you find center. Uh, go ahead and grab your pencil, make a mark. Cause this paper doesn't matter. We're gonna destroy this paper. So write whatever you need onto it by making one inch marks all the way down the middle. That's very important. All right, so once you got your jig, it goes inside of your signature and then you're gonna take a binder clip and give it the old clip. There's nothing. And then grab your uh, needle tools and you're going to be stabbing through the holes on the one inch marks. So it goes straight down. You have to go straight down. I like to pick the paper up to make sure it goes straight down, but it needs to go through the side. I can't stress that enough. It has to go through. Um, if you miss and it goes farther up on the paper, it's going to look terrible. And I understand uh, this could be kind of tedious. So go ahead and grab yourself a chair and do the rest of them. You take that one jig out and you can put it into every single signature. So it's pretty easy. All right, got all your papers. The, there's gonna be a little bit more bulk from all the stabbing, uh, which is a weird sentence I have to say. Um, give it a little crease. You can put a book on top of it, whatever works. All right, now it comes to the actual binding. So it's pretty simple, especially at first. So we have our cardstock cover, all right? Cardstock cover. And we're gonna be using a curved needle. It's not entirely necessary. It's just like I have a ton of curved needles from all the Coptic binding I've done. So I just got it. Go ahead and grab your thread. Um, you can really use any type of thread. This is some hemp 
thread, but we're going to measure the length of our paper for however many signatures we have. We technically have eight. So I wanna drag it eight times with a little bit of extra, and that's going to give me the length of the thread I need for my book. Thread your needle. I like to pull it pretty far because there's a lot of thread in this and you can make a lot of knots. So we start this actually on the outside. And then we go in. See how much extra thread I was telling you about? There's a lot of bulk with this book. Bulk? Bulk? All right, leave yourself a little tail. I like to binder clip mine down so I don't lose it. Spoiler alert, I lost it a few times recording this. All right, go through the next hole. And we're gonna be doing something called a pamphlet stitch. You don't need to know what that means. But basically you're gonna go, you know, up, down, up, down, woo, 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 like that. Um, until you're all the way through the end. Go ahead and clip the extra one on. My hands were super shaky. I have no idea why. I found dozens and dozens of these types of books and my hands are just like, nah, nah, bro. All right, so I'm going into the signature above it. So now I got to clip down. So I have the actual signature of paper. It's not just one folded piece of cardstock. So I'm going to go through and then I'm going to come back out just like I was before. Make sure you uh, block all of the video with your hands. All right, now here's the magic. Here's the sweetness. This needle is going to go into the loop you have made. So you can see it a little bit better right there. And it makes a little twist. And for some reason, this is French link binding. I've never looked up the names and the reasons why things are called what they're called. And then you put it back into the hole, go back in, carry on just like that. It binds really fast. Um, I'm a big proponent of Coptic binding. Those are like good open spine flat sketchbooks. Love them. Love to see them, right? But they take forever. And you can do one of these in like 45 minutes, which oh, sounds like a lot, but it's not. So a loop underneath there, just showing it to you one more time. And then it goes into back into the hole in the same signature we still haven't tied a knot or anything yet so if you're having any trouble of your thread getting loose i wanted to show you what it looks like whenever you make yourself some knots um but if your thread gets loose you can just pull on both threads uh it, for the most part will tighten up pretty easily don't pull too hard you'll just tear your paper and then feel terrible or not feel terrible you may decide that this doesn't matter to you. You're just going to tear paper and that's your thing. So uh, tie a quick double knot. You can, if you want, um, kind of pull the knot through to the inside. And I, I don't care. I leave it on the outside. It's a book. I made it. I didn't buy this at a store. It's going to have some things like that. All right. So you loop the thread just like before and then go back in the hole and this is where you'll actually start to see the pattern of French link binding start to form. And then just continue doing that. Here I am on the last uh, cardstock signature. Um, we're just looping it so you can see how it starts to really build up. It looks, It's very nice. It's nice. I like how it looks. Um, and it holds pretty tight for a book. But I loop underneath just like that, just like I've been doing before. And then when you're done at the end, um, you can loop it in and then you're going to just tie a knot on the inside. Then you're going to weigh it down with the Spider-Man comic book. If you don't have a Spider-Man comic book, I guess you can use Electro, um, Captain Marvel. I should, it should probably be a Marvel comic. But well, anyway, that doesn't matter. None of that matters. All right. Uh, we weighed down just to kind of crease it a little bit. So get those boards from the previous video. Um, if you have yet to see it, uh, go check it out now so you can make them. Also, if you just want to finish it with the cardstock cover, you can do that too. That's fine. But first thing I want you to do is visualize your book. You need to see everything. Um, so that way you have the covers going in the right direction. Uh, to the left there, I have some pieces of 
freezer paper and we're going to be putting that on the inside of our text block of our book so to protect the paper from the glue we're about to put on so go ahead and get that nice and flush in there and you're gonna see that this uh, really helps to plan it out before and to make sure that it goes the right way because it can get really tricky in the heat of the moment roll yourself out some glue uh, you have this from your uh, previous video hopefully if not you can just use a brush or a glue stick honestly would work now this one has fancy paper on the inside I made it as kind of a generic one I didn't know exactly what I was gonna be using it for so mm, you don't have to put paper on the inside all right board got glue glue go to paper paper good done that's really it you have one shot at this because uh, once the glue hits the paper it's pretty much gonna tear it so if you're not comfortable with how it looks uh, get comfortable and let me show that to you one more time because it is uh, is a bit tricky. So, paper goes on the inside, roll out glue onto the board, nice thin coat, flip it over, try to make sure it's going in the right orientation, line it up with the spine, and smush it. But yeah, and that's it. Let it dry for a day or so. And you're going to have yourself a nice little book. See ya.